I just want to ask you about your recollections about Vilmos Zsigmond, because this interview will be presented at a festival in Szeged, a southern Hungarian town where Vilmos Zsigmond was born. And uh, how, if I may ask you from these remote times, how did you meet him? Do you remember why did you choose him? What was it like working with him? As I say, you 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 need a cinematographer to make a movie, and <laughs> yes. uh, like in any art form, uh, there are ones that are good and ones that are not so good, and then there are a few great ones. And Vilmos was one of the great ones. You could tell by looking at his movie. So I, I felt if um, if we made sense when we talked together, the the aspects of the the factors that go into cinematography, the lighting, the camera movement, the the framing of shots, the philosophy about how to represent a, a film and particularly represent a specific film, if that made sense when we talked, uh, it would be a good uh, collaboration. And it was. Uh, you know, if it wasn't Vilmos, uh, I would have found another great cinematographer, but Vilmos was one of the true uh, wonderful artists in cinema at that time, and he was available He, he, his schedule wasn't, uh, um, you know, didn't uh, inhibit anything. And so we liked each other and, um, and we, we spoke the same language about the film, about how we wanted to present it and what our feelings were about cinematography and its relation to the direction of the picture and how we like to work. And and it was fine, you know. We, we had a very, very uh, copacetic time on all our films. Once you reach a certain level artistically, whether you are filming, whether you're coming from uh, Eastern Europe, whether you're coming from Spain or Japan or France or Italy, you they all have in common certain aspects of cinematography in this case that are um, mutual. They all have some variations of the same philosophy in terms of lighting movies and moving the camera or not moving the camera. Uh, and he was, again, not different. He wasn't let's say there wasn't a Hungarian flair to his cinematography. He had passed that. He had come into the realm of beyond a national look. And he had been one, one of the top photographers, one of the top artists in photography. And you would have compared him with, you know, the, the great cinematographies, the cinematographers of, of that time, Storaro and uh, Gordon Willis, and, and there were a few that, and they all spoke the same language, sort of, even though it was they were linguistically apart. Mm -hmm. they, the, it was the language of cinema and cinematography as as art. And he was he was very dedicated and always getting ideas for some other piece of equipment that was enable him to make some interesting kind of shot and he would want some kind of special crane or something and we would tell him we can't afford that and he would say oh, no it's very important and this would go on and then we would always listen to him and and get it and he always was correct he always Had, he had very good ideas. Uh, you know, when, when I'm shooting a movie, I have many ideas, and I welcome ideas from everyone else, including, most importantly, the cinematographer. And he had, he had very good ideas, very, very good notions about 
what would be a really interesting way to shoot something. Sometimes I would suggest something and he would love the idea. Sometimes he would say, I don't think that's going to look as good as you think it's going to look. And I would always defer to him because uh, my my theory in making films is to hire very good people, very good actors, very good costume people, uh, great cinematographers, and not to inhibit them, not to, uh, you know, hover over them and constantly impose my own ignorant ideas on them. You know, I like to let, you know, there's a reason Vilmos was great. There's a reason why the costume designer would be great or why the, the art director would be great. And I want to get that from them. I don't want to inhibit them. So I was very open to Vilmos, and he was very, very creative in his ideas. He had many, many good ideas, and I only wish we could have afforded them all. Usually, uh, what I do and what the cinematographers like to do <clears throat> is go over the script, you know, uh, page to page and and talk about it. And, and sometimes you can do many pages quickly, but then you come to something that requires more ingenuity or is more problematical, and you talk about that. And you, uh, but we do go over all of it, and then when we get to the set, um, usually the way I work it is I pick out a shot that I want, and then the cameraman, the Bill Motion in this case, will try and give me what I want, but he'll improve it. He'll say, yes, we'll, we'll make this shot, but a little more to the right and a little higher, and I won't light the back, and I'll, I'll just do this, and there'll be a silhouette over here. He, he makes the shot into something that I could never know how to make it into because he is the, the camera expert. Um, and... Uh, and that's how we go through the film. Sometimes I'll come up with an idea and the cameraman or Bill Motion in this case uh, will say, I don't think that's going to be good. You won't like it. It's too pretentious. It's not, not it's going to be boring. Or so. And other times he'll say, you know, um, I have an idea for a shot and I may not like it. I may say it's not good for the story. And then, so we move on to another shot. You, it's important never to um, insist or to hang on to your idea. If the, if the other collaborator doesn't like it or is uncomfortable with it, you, you must move on and, and find something else. Very, you, you don't want to talk somebody into something or put pressure on them so that they do it, but their heart's not in it. And yes. and um, so if Vilmos didn't like one of my ideas or I didn't like one of his, we throw it out and get a new idea. Would you want to say something for the next generation of young, talented Hungarian cinematographers who will participate? What would be maybe if you want to say something encouraging or discouraging or something uh, that for those who are participating in this Zsigmond Vilmos Festival. I would say that the young people in Hungary that are studying film and want to get into that <clears throat> could not have a better role model. <clears throat> one, of the, <clears throat> one of the great all-time cinematographers <clears throat> was Hungarian. <clears throat> and I would advise them, <clears throat> excuse me, to read about his life to watch his films, and he's someone that they could learn a lot <clears throat> about cinematography <clears throat> by studying his films. He's a very good role model. It's not like <clears throat> the, the Hungarian cinematographer is mediocre or very commercial and uh, popular but not really good. He's an artist. And he's, his decisions on lighting, on camera work, on movement, on how to 
film a picture are very well worth studying. And if the young cinematographers can in any way approach his level of artistic perception, I think they will have very, very stimulating and productive careers. (laughs) 